Hello guys, my name is Samuel Dollar from dropshippingit.com <laughs> this is either you want to start a dropshipping business or you're ready into dropshipping business so today i'm going to show you or share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a shopify store to help you make money online working from home so uh if you've been uh, a member of this channel or maybe following me uh, i believe you understand uh, the, the term dropshipping and why i'm doing uh this kind of videos but if you don't know uh what this channel uh, is all about is uh, all about dropshipping business and dropshipping business means selling products you don't have inventory of or you don't need to buy product in stock in order to sell them so uh i'm going to show you how to join shopify the things that you need to know before you even think of creating a shopify store one Shopify is not free, even though when you are signing up, you'll be given a 14 days free trial. But what happens after the 14 days, days free trial ends? You are going to be billed. So you are going to connect uh, a billing or a payment method to your Shopify store. They usually accept credit cards, PayPal, uh, PayPal and other form of payment gateways, depending with your currency and your location. You can choose different Shopify plans on the Shopify e-commerce platform, but the basic one that is mostly used by new newbies like me and you, or maybe starters, even even uh, those who are doing seven figures drop shipping, is the basic Shopify plan, which is a twenty-nine dollars uh, per month plan. So uh, you pay twenty-nine dollars per month, then Shopify is going to host your sh shop on their platform you are going to find shopify themes which some of them are free and others are premium themes when i say premium themes it means that you are going to pay in order to install uh, certain themes on shopify and when you decide to use the free themes uh, there's nothing you're going to pay uh, using them some big wigs are using a uh, free shopify themes and they're doing major numbers and some prefer premium themes because there's a, a lot of uh you know they don't have a lot of limitation when it comes to customization and uh, and integrating some other features that are not uh, readily available on shopify so it depends with you if you want to go with a free theme uh, uh i'm going to show you how where to find them if you have you want to go with a a paid shopify theme uh, i will also show you how to find them i currently use the beautify theme and booster themes they are things that the best two shopify themes uh premium themes available right now that you can use apart from the premium themes there will be shopify apps the, uh, the same applies as the shopify themes they are premium and free shopify apps so it all depends with what you want to achieve with your store but the mostly used Shopify the app is Obelo, which we are going to use a lot in this channel. There are, there are also other services related to sh creating Shopify store. If you are not an expert, let's say you need a logo. You are going to need a logo designer. If you need graphics done for your Shopify store, you are going to hire someone who is good in graphics. If you need... Uh, or product description and you're not good in copywriting you're going to hire a person to someone to write to write you product description for your shopify store same applies to your web web content about us why us faqs uh shipping and also uh there, there are some templates that are provided by shopify you just need to, to to generate and edit which i'm going to show you as we create this store uh as part of your marketing you're going to need product videos so the number of videos you're going to need depends with the number of products you are adding to your shopify store so if it is about your show your store has 20 products you are going to need 20 products videos it depends with how you want to start marketing if you just want to test five products of the 20 it is recommended to have five videos but it depends with the products you are you are promoting or the product that you've imported to your store some don't need videos some just need uh, images and illustration and the customer will understand what the product is all about so you don't need videos for all your product 
uh, in your Shopify store. But suppose you need videos for certain number of products in your Shopify store, then you need to hire a product, a video editor to gather videos online and to, to edit uh, videos for you for your Shopify store. As you know, they don't create new videos from scratch. They gather existing videos, then they edit them, they turn them around to make it uh, go as a copyright free videos. We are going to do Shopify SEO optimization on your Shopify site. We are going to add uh, meta tags, meta description, home page description, and also you can do this to the product descriptions, uh, all the product description and the pages on your website. Uh, under your online preference, you are going to install uh, Facebook Pixel, you are, we are going to install Google Analytics, and then from there, we can launch the Shopify store. So let's get into it let me show you how to create a shopify store if you want to create a shopify store the first thing you need to do is to go online and type shopify.com then you'll see the shopify default uh home page for signing up so the first thing you'll see uh, they'll ask you for your email so after your email uh we are, we are going to see the whole process from here so uh, let me put in my email so then you enter and uh, then you click on start free trial uh, it will ask you for the email so i'll just put a random password here then the store name uh i'm going to call the store name drop shipping it since it is for uh, the purpose of oh someone has the drop shipping it store so it will show you just like when you are registering for my dom a domain name or maybe an instagram username if the username exists, you won't be allowed to use that username. So apparently, dropshipping it exists. So I'm going to try dropshipping, or maybe a generic name like let's say Linux. Oh, Linux exists. Exist. Okay, let me try Delance. Delance exists. So let me try Linux Shop. So Linux is my son's name. So Linux Shop. Then you click on create your store. So sit tight, we are creating your store. After the verification using the code sent to our email, we are on this page now. We need to fill this. Uh, the, the information here uh, is, not, is not a must to be accurate. But for the purpose of Shopify collecting a few data about you, you I recommend you adding, filling them in. So tell us a little about yourself. Are you selling? I'm not. So you have, I'm just playing around. I'm not selling. I'm just selling but not online I sell with a different system so I'm honest I'm not selling products yet do you have something to sell no I'm just playing around with Shopify or I'm brain, I'm brainstorming uh, what is your current revenue zero as uh, which industry will you be operating so I can say you can choose beauty virtual I can just say beauty then uh, they're asking you are you setting this website uh, are you setting up a store for a client? If you are setting a, a store for a client, they'll assume you are an agency. So I'm not doing this. I'm designing developer store for a client. No, I'm not doing this. So I just, you click next. Then uh, it will ask you about your address. So by default, it has picked my country. I'm in Kenya. Okay. Uh, so I'll leave it as that. Then I'll enter just my code, my address, and my phone number. You guys can call me if you want to confirm if that's my phone number and uh, uh, my address. Then my city, I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, all the way from Africa. Then uh, you enter. Our store has been created. Remember, we have, it has taken us a few seconds, not even minutes. I want to explain each and every detail of your Shopify store before we start creating anything. So this is our home page. When you click on orders, this is the section that will display all the orders you, you've received in your Shopify store, both for dropshipping or maybe if you're selling physical products. Under it, there's abandoned checkout. This section highlights undecided customers who came to your shop but never checked out. And I'll tell you how to recover the people that will be appearing here. Draft orders are just your draft orders from the word draft or create an, and then send an invoice using that draft order. When you click on products, so products are all the inventory that you have. I mean the products, products inventory, yes. So products, all the products that you have. So if you imported 100 products using Obelo or maybe imported 100 products using 
uh, you know, physical upload or maybe uh, using CSV file, they all appear here. So if it is 100 products, if they are, they are 100 products, they all appear here. Inventory, you all stand, understand inventory is stock. Uh, so it will show you the number of uh, uh, products available or variants available per product or the number of products. If you are selling different products, different variants, different sizes, different colors, it will give you a list of the available in stock. So you track your uh, numbers and orders so you don't run out of stock. Your collection, when you click on collection, uh, as you see, as you can see, when you go to a, a dropshipping site like I go show and you click on enter, these are the collection. When you click on fit shop, collection determines where the product will be seen on your live shopping. So when you go here, click on create collection, it will enable you to create collection. Another section is the gift card section where you can create gift card and send your customers directly or maybe give your customers online maybe it is a valentine and you have a gift card for valentine you create it here customers is where you see all the customers that they bought from you you'll see your returning customers new customers and uh, how much they've spent on your shopify store and the products they bought analytics is your store reports based on total sales the online session the traffic returning customer rates Everything to do with your store analytics is under analytics, which covers reports, covers uh, live view, so meaning you can see the live people on your Shopify store. So here you'll see sales and you can filter sales uh, using dates. As you can see, this is compared to third August. We just created this store, me and you, so hey, don't judge me. So here you'll see your store conversion, average order value. Uh, top product by unit, the most selling product by unit, uh, online sessions, uh, you know, online session by location, it will show just like Google Analytics works. So this is the Google Analytics of Shopify, but purely dealing with sales and online transactions. So under reports is where you find your sales income, acquisition, profit margin you've made, uh, customers you've retained, uh, behavior, okay? Those who abandoned cart, reached cart, and under live view, you are going to see the live people on your Shopify store based on their demographics and uh, you know and what they are doing. If uh, they are buying, this map will indicate uh, this orange icon. Under marketing is where you can create your marketing channels. You can integrate Shopify apps. They'll appear here, like you know the free Shopify email uh, marketing tools and the others so here's where you, you manage all your marketing suppose you're doing 100% uh, marketing on Shopify and if you're doing other platforms you can also connect them to your marketing channel on Shopify so let's jump straight to the app section the app section on your Shopify store enable you to see different types of apps based on uh, different uh, collection different niches and so paid and free apps so here you can you can install an app when you go to online store this is where you find your shopify theme blog post pages navigation preferences and etc so when you come to online store the first thing uh, by default it will open your shopify theme so this is our shopify theme so this this is the section where you edit your shopify theme how you want it to be how you, you want your customers to see your store. This is the section where we, we spend a lot of time apart from product research and adding product to Shopify. This is the place you're going to spend most of your time because you must make sure you are uh, your theme or your website is mobile responsive, uh, you have no bugs, uh, the graphics are of, high, of the highest quality, your logo is uh, you know transparent, uh, it is, it is it, it, everything that you need to know about your theme home page or your home page or your store home page plays a major role in conversion. So for you to convert a regular online browser who just came to your store via your ad, for you to convince them to buy a product on your store, your store must be stunning, your store must be highly brandable, and this is where you do 
50, not even 50. This is where you do 70%. Uh, uh, 70% of the branding that you are required of. So, here we are going to, 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 to dig deep into show, customizing a Shopify theme using this store. So, this store we just created. Next is your blog post. Blog post assist your online store with, uh, with organic sales, organic traffic. When you, you, know, you understand the SEO, the same way that you, you'll do a SEO on WordPress, it's the same way you can create a blog post related to your niche, then you post then you know the people will come pages pages is a where pages session is where you create your about us page your contact us page and all pages that you need to create for your store depending with the niche navigation simply means menu so this is where you create your menu do you want a drop down menu do you want a vertical menu horizontal this is where you do you you define what appears under what so when you go to your theme cost customization you can simply drag and drop uh, you know uh, rearrange them the way you want your menu to appear what appears in menu is about is the pages is the collection and also the product plus the legal pages so i'll show you how to do this domain is where we buy our domain name this is where we're going to buy domain name so let's say if i was to buy the lennoxshop.com i'll simply buy using this section which i'm going to cover in all, all these sections I'm, I'm browsing through i'm going to cover each into detail so and also if you have an a, a existing domain name i'm going to show you how to connect it to your shopify store so that you don't need to buy another domain name on shopify you did preference is where you set up your home page and some analytics let's say i told you about shopify seo when we started so this is where you're going to configure your home page title home page description you know this way you're going to connect your social sharing images if you want just one image to appear uh, you are going to connect your Google Analytics account and you are going to bring in your Facebook pixel code here then after and also this is the place where you can remove your password under your setting so you'll see your information you'll see the shipping configuration for general store general uh, setup when you click on it you'll be able to see general setting like the name of your store the email the industry uh, the legal name of business if you uh, you've registered it uh, apartment if you want time zone you select store currency uh, like mine i want to change to usd because paypal doesn't accept my currency so i've changed mine to usd so when you go back to settings and uh, you you see other sections like location manage the places you stock inventory fulfill orders and sell plan and permission add you can add people to your shopify store we call them staff if you want and give them the permission you can select what they cannot access the ones that they can access uh, payment this, this is the section where you enable your payment provider if you're using paypal stripe uh, to check out uh, or you know uh, if you have a third party payment a api you want to integrate this is a section you do all that the notification this is how you want to be notified plus how you want to notify the customers when they place an order there's an error in the order there's a refund issue there's a shipping problem this is where you configure that a thank you page after sale and everything store languages the store the language that you want your store to be using okay check out you can under uh, check out you can add a custom logo a custom message uh, for customers to see when they're checking out gift cards we already explained the gift card section uh, billing this is where you add your payment method go on they are shipping and delivery you can figure how much you are charging per product per weight and per the location the customer is in files is where you upload all the images the graphics that you want to use in your shopify store legal pages this is where you create your privacy shopify is unable shopify has pre-made legal pages for you and me so what you need to do is simply to click and generate so i'll show you how to do that then under taxes if you're living in in a country that requires e-commerce to to file tax returns this is where you configure your tax information and rates and uh, if you're going to charge your customers tax taxes sales channel is where you connect all your channels like facebook uh, messenger instagram uh, and, and other sales channels uh, that you are interested in if you have pinterest if you have reddit any 
So this is where you manage all those sales channels. So we've just created a Shopify store within few minutes, even though I talk too much. Forgive me. And I hope you guys have learned something. So in our next video, we are going to, to start adding product. First of all, we're going to find the product. We're going to find a niche. Then I'm going to use uh, all these apps. I'm going to use e-command, niche scrapper, sell, sell the trend, e sniper. I'm, all, I'm also going to use other generic uh, on organic ways of finding product to sell. So guys, if you like this video, I believe you do so. And I'm sorry if I've talked too much, but I needed you to understand the nitty gritties of creating a Shopify store. And when you click on this I button, it will show you the, the, the default Shopify homepage, which uh, we are going to customize. We're going to install premium themes and we are, we are going to install a premium theme. We are going to make this shop look fantastic. So if you like this video, guys, do me a favor and just uh, click on that like button. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, enable the notification bar.